Hey all. So I want to talk about using AI to make our work more accessible to families. So when I talk to psychologists and ask what's the hardest part about explaining testing results to families, hands down, it is about finding language that's really going to communicate what we've learned about this child. And it makes sense. We've inherited this language around assessment and diagnosis that's jargony. It's complex and often very negative. And when we write our reports, we are writing for the next practitioner. We are writing for teachers. We're writing for parents. We have multiple audiences that we're trying to serve. But AI can really help with this. So for this video, I wanna look at how AI can help create a summary that's gonna capture what is most important from our assessment. A summary that's going to be super easy to read, really accessible for families, and is gonna help families have that take home that they can bring home and turn around and tell um, their friend, uh, their sibling, um, a teacher, here's what I learned about my child. So let's start with how I write my uh, summaries, uh, just how I structure them to make sure that we are meeting this goal. So uh, this is a, a, a fake um, report, and I'll show you that this is the uh, first page of my evaluation. And I always put the summary here. That's the very first thing that parents see. Um, very first thing that anybody who reads the report sees, it has all the most important information. And it's also going to kind of give you a preview so that when you're reading the actual report, it's a little bit easier to um, comprehend. And I have three parts to it. The first is, what did we learn about the student? This is that take home that I want parents to be able to use to turn around and say, here's what I know about my child. And then I'm gonna list three to five strengths and superpowers, the things that uh, kids really excelled at and did really well at, um, whether it's character strengths or things from the testing. And then areas for growth, where they wanna build, where we wanna help them build their skills and areas for support where they may interact with the world differently and we have to do things differently to really support them and help them be their best selves. Um, now these, these summaries are so powerful and so helpful for families, but they are really challenging to write because I have pages and pages and pages of narrative um, explaining all of my scores. So I use a, a tool called uh, Bastion to uh, help with this. Now, um, Bastion is a HIPAA compliant uh, platform that works a lot like ChatGPT, but it's going to keep all of your student data or uh, child data confidential. And um, to uh, um, it also has this ability to be more or less creative. I like it to be very, very precise. Um, and it can keep a prompt library for you. Now, I've been putting together a prompt library of my own that you can access on explainingbrains.com slash practitioners. If you click here, it will uh, take you to a page that has a link to this prompt library, and it looks like this. And this has all the different prompts I've been using to help me organize language, organize my ideas, and really make sure I'm communicating things in a concise and accessible way. Let's look at the report summary prompt. So if you want to, you can just copy and paste this. Um, into um, a platform like Bastion, uh, or uh, I have it already set up in here. Um, and so this prompt, complete with typos, <laughs> will um, at, say uh, to the AI, first, I want you to analyze the following summary of a neuropsychological report for structure, tone, and grade level. Now, this is a summary from a previous report that I really liked. I thought that this was a really good model that I can give the AI to help it understand what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna have it analyze this. 
Um, and then I want it to use what it learned from this to ask me for a new neuropsychological report and create a summary using the same structure, tone, and grade level as the example above. And then the new summary should have these three sections, right? So I'm going to enter that in and it's gonna give me an analysis. I am less concerned about the actual analysis and more concerned about how it's going to apply this to the new information that I give it. But it's interesting to know what my tone is. Okay, now it says, now please provide me with a new neuropsychological report so I can create a summary. Awesome. Thank you, Bastian. Um, so now I'm going to take, uh, I'm just going to copy and paste the, uh, the body of this report, tables and all. And this is just my narrative. I happen to embed my tables. Some people put the scores elsewhere. Um, I'm most interested, whoa. I'm most interested in it capturing um, the, the narrative here, but it can take all those scores. And so I'm going to just paste this here. We'll see what it comes up with. And now I have this great summary. And I can copy it. And then I can go up here and paste it. Now, this is really a starting point. It has taken my report and pulled out the major ideas, and I need to edit it. AI is awesome at organizing language, but it doesn't capture the, um, you know, our empathy our nuance and the passion that we bring to interacting with a student uh, or a child, it was not in the room with us. So I want to double check that this is really bringing out what I felt was most important uh, for the child. Um, so I'm going to give it a slight edit right here. And Take out anything that I don't like. And it's done a pretty good job. Um, and this is a really good starting point for me to edit. And you can see that it's very concise and it's only taking out that three quarters of the page. Okay. I hope that was helpful as a starting point to help you make a summary that's going to be really, really accessible for families. Um, and I just want to say thank you for everything that you do to really help everybody on this child's team understand their amazing brain.